Good afternoon. It's good to see you this afternoon. Beautiful fall afternoon. Um, just wanted to take a moment to think about um, uh, the second reading. Or uh, there's only one, one, one reading after, uh, outside of the gospel. So our reading today uh, has a very striking line that I think is very beautiful. Um, and it's a good reminder that again, we gotta always remember who we are. Um, what we're about, um, and the the line is is, is it Saint Paul of the Philippians. I didn't I didn't put it in front of me, um, but he says we are citizens of heaven. Citizens of heaven. This is why I preached on this morning uh, to the kiddos. We are citizens of heaven, uh, and that we. And then he goes on to say that the Lord will go. You know will give us glory, you know, will restore our bodies and give us glorified ones. And, and you know, it basically nods to the resurrection and, uh, of the dead and, and, you know, the gifts, the reward of being a citizen, of being a faithful citizen. And it, it just got me thinking about, you know, um, you know, especially in this particular week in, in the history of the United States and, and in our world, um, which in all, like in all moments, we'll look back with greater clarity in the future. Um, and uh, yeah, just realizing, you know, of all, the, you know, when I was 18 years old, I, you know, was old enough to, to vote. And I remember voting in my first presidential election and in the preceding elections that, that have taken place since that day. And um, both locally, statewide and, and, and nationally, I voted for people that didn't get make it. And I voted for people who did. And, you know, in each of those moments, you know, I didn't lose faith. I didn't let go of my responsibility, my civic duty to vote and, and to, you know, because that's something that my mom beat it, didn't beat into me, but <laughs> uh, drilled into me the, the importance of it. You know, you're a citizen. You need to vote. It's, it's a responsibility. It's a duty that you have. Um, and I say that not uh, to stir the pot or whatever, uh, but the reality of moving forward and the same duty of sense of responsibility and duty that we have for our country. And I'm, I'm very proud to be an American and to be a citizen in this nation and this country. Um, very blessed. I feel very blessed to be born here and raised here. Um, but to recognize I have a greater citizenship. A citizenship in the kingdom of God. That my citizenship in heaven is greater. Um, I'm Catholic first, um, and perhaps that would be a contra it's a controversial statement for someone to say. Perhaps not. I don't really care. <laughs> um, but that is who I am. Um, by my baptism, I have been made new. I have been restored in God's grace, um, and I am a citizen of heaven. And that's my ultimate goal: is to get to heaven, to to have perfect unity with God. That can be accomplished here in, in this life, but, but is completed and perfected in the next. And so, to remember that always, um, that we're citizens of heaven, those who, those who follow Christ. Um, but that being a citizen gives us particular responsibilities um, to love, to love God and to love our neighbor. Um, the two laws of our country, our our spiritual country, our nation, our holy nation, our, our king, the kingdom of God. Those are the two great commandments: to love God above all things with our with our heart, mind, and soul, and to love our neighbor as ourselves. Those are the two great commandments that Christ says. And the variety of ways in which we do that, and the chief way in which we love God is by praying, by growing His in relationship with Him, by engaging in the sacraments by soaking in the love, recognizing the love that he has for us, the unconditional nature of it, and then to then take the love we receive from God and, and share it with our neighbor, with our, our brothers and sisters in Christ, and those who, even those who, who have not accepted God or reject him, you know, to be always a beacon of light, um, which I've said over and over again, and continue to say over and over again. But those, those are the, 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 the ways in which we live and are faithful to that spiritual citizenship um, that we are given by Christ, that are a gift to us, 
um, that, that we must always bend a knee to um, as we bend a knee to our Creator, our, um, our God. So it's just a, something to think about and to pray about today. Um, now I encourage you, you know, go on, if you don't have a, a daily reader, go on to UCCB, usccb.org, or, you know, I have a Magnificat, I really like Magnificat, um, and, and read that reading from Philippi- Philippians um, for today, you know, and read, you know, engage in growing in your, in that understanding of, of the faith and of scripture, of, um, so that you can be a, be a good citizen, which of course also, and being a good citizen of heaven makes you a good citizen of whatever country you belong to. Um, because the morality and the, and the goodness and the grace that comes from our heavenly citizenship will be brought into our daily lives. Um, that's how we transform our lives. That's where we try to transform our families, our communities, our church, our nation, and our world. So let's ask for the grace to do that. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. We pray for transformation of our lives, the recognition of, of who we belong to, who we are, and what we are about as, as Catholic Christians, and as Christians, um, that we we'll always remember who we are as beloved sons and daughters of God the Father, as brothers and sisters in Christ, for unity in our fa- and healing, in our, in our country, in our nation, um, for greater devotion to the Eucharist, um, and to everybody, uh, for everybody that we promise to pray for. And, and, and in this month of November, in a particular way, we pray for all the, all the faithful departed, all those who have died, uh, for their, um, their peaceful repose. Um, for everybody else we love and promise to pray for, we offer them to you as we pray. You expired, Jesus, for the source of life gushed forth for the souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world, the font of life, unfathomed the divine mercy, enveloped the whole world, and emptied yourself upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth in the heart of Jesus is a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth in the heart of Jesus is a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth in the heart of Jesus is a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. And he ascended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity, your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. 
Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, and the treasure of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we may not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle and be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Faustina, pray for us. Saint Andrew, Saint Francis Xavier, and all our patron saints, pray for us. Father Cape and all the angels and saints in heaven, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's reflection. Uh, I'm praying in the chaplet. Uh, know that, that um, continue to pray for me. Continue to pray for me. I, I continue to pray for you, um, for our church, our nation, world. Um, I know that I love you. Uh, God bless you, and I'll see you on the next video.